Hey everyone, it's Chris with HotShotsCatering.com and this is another episode of Hot Shots TV. Are you familiar with Nitro? Now I'm not talking about Nitro that you see at the uh, funny cars at the racetrack and I'm not talking about Nitrogen that you see at your local uh, science center. Uh, no, we're talking about Nitro in your coffee. So today we're going to go over cold brew, we're going to go over Nitro cold brew, and then we're going to go over why you need this experience at your next event. Stay tuned, this is going to be an awesome one. Hey everyone and welcome back. So today's episode is all about the Nitro cold brew and really to get started we need to talk about how did Nitro cold brew get its start and it's really a tough question. So uh, Nitro cold brew uh, got started in 2013 and as far as we know there's about maybe three different uh, companies or people that actually originated the Nitro cold brew. And so in 2013, there was obviously Sumptown Coffee is one that's considered who started Nitro, uh, a gentleman there. And then Cuvée Coffee uh, out of Austin is also an originator. And then there's also one out of New York City uh, that could have been an originator. Now, we do know that Nitro Coffee really hasn't stemmed further back than 2013, uh, but cold brew in itself has. And so that's something where I want to kind of start this whole understanding of cold brew and Nitro cold brew. Really to get a good understanding, we have to go to where cold brew was originated. Now, it is said that maybe in the 1600s or even before then by the Japanese is really where cold brew got its start. Now, today we look at cold brew uh, not so much as a rationing system for our coffee, but we look at it more as a quality, right? So cold brew allows you to kind of, in theory, lower the acidity of coffee and kind of make it a very smooth tasting coffee. Um, and rationing is also part of it. If you've gone out to your local grocery store or Target, uh, you've probably seen like uh, several different types of cold brew coffee that's out there. And they say you mix this part and, and, and with water and all this, and it allows you to have a cup of coffee that you then put in the microwave or heat up on the stove. And now you have a, a fresh hot cup of coffee that's a little bit extra concentrated. Well, that all that is true. Um, and really that stemmed from like I said, before in the, in the, around the world, uh, primarily like the military and different areas uh, in different countries created cold brew for that purpose, not so much for this premier taste of the cold brew and the caffeine, caffeine and all that type of stuff. Uh, so really there's recipes from the Civil War, there's recipes in, in France from uh, the French Revolution and the different wars and stuff that went on around there. Uh, there's all kinds of different attributes of where cold brew was seen uh, and created, but then used more as a rationing device for rationing coffee in hard times, as well as um, just every day. Uh, you know, the price of coffee, uh, if you've seen my last, uh, one of my last episodes about military and the coffee, we noticed that the rationing of coffee was something that's happened for many, many years uh, and throughout many different wars and things that went on. So that being said, that's cold brew. Where's the nitro aspect of it? Well, nitro is actually the infusion of nitrogen into the cold brew coffee. So to make cold brew, uh, maybe we should go there, is cold brew is made by pretty much the same process of making a regular cup of coffee. The only difference is the time in which the water is infused with the cold brew. So, and the other thing is, is it's cold. So you take your standard brewing method of brewing hot coffee, right? You have your basket, you have your filter, and you put the coffee inside. And normally that process takes anywhere from what, maybe a couple minutes to a couple seconds. The cold brew aspect of it is where you're doing the same thing, but now you're typically waiting up to maybe starting at 12 hours of the infusion process of the water with the coffee to create this cold brew coffee, uh, which is typically 
higher in content of caffeine, has a little bit different and, and, and more, um, I would say different taste, but more flavorful coffee. When you take a sip of cold brew, if you haven't yet, I definitely highly recommend you go out and do so right after this video and just taste it and you'll definitely know that you're drinking coffee. Sometimes the coffee today that we drink at the restaurants and everything else, we don't know if it's water or coffee, am I right? So, you know, it's definitely different in that aspect. Uh, then what they do is they take the cold brew Okay, so moving on to the nitro, they take the cold brew coffee and they infuse it with nitrogen. And that's kind of a process here that I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh, and really you're just infusing this nitrogen. And what that does is it allows you to have different notes tasted out of the cold brew or just the coffee. Uh, and also allows for a different type of experience. And some have said that it also allows for a sweetness, which I can definitely agree with that. Uh, so you're just kind of changing the prospect and changing uh, the, the relationship uh, of coffee to your taste buds. Um, and it's something that is absolutely fantastic. So let's go over that. So this is a standard coffee, okay? This is what it looks like. Not too exciting, just a cup of coffee. Now, when we infuse nitrogen, we are creating a different relationship with the coffee. Now you tell me, which one looks more appealing to you? You can see the cascading of the coffee and it really brings out a different presentation. So what we do here at Hot Shots, what we've started doing is introducing this cold brew coffee. And we are actually one of the first gourmet coffee caterers out there to offer this product. We've been doing it probably since the last couple of years. So probably not much further than 2014, 2015. And it's just something that has really created an experience. Now, some people ask, well, the nitro cold brew, what is the benefits of nitro cold brew? Well, nitro cold brew, um, one, you have that cold brew aspect. So we have to really first start at cold brew. What's the difference between cold brew and regular coffee? Well, one, like I said, you really are getting more caffeine content. So that's one thing that a lot of people like because it's more saturation. Think of tea. The longer you let tea sit in with the water, the more it's gonna pull from the tea, correct? So same thing here. You're saturating the beans longer, uh, the grounds of coffee longer, and you're actually being able to pull more of the flavors and also more of that caffeine content. The second thing is obviously the flavors. You're gonna be pulling more things out, which allows you to have a bolder cup of coffee. You can almost make, you can actually make concentrates out of cold brew and allow you, as we were saying, to have an extension of cold brew or you can actually just brew uh, a thing of cold brew with equal ratios of water and then just have a great tasting cup of coffee that you can heat. Now the nitro aspect of it too is you actually have a head on the coffee. What's cool about that is it almost looks like a Guinness beer or some type of stout beer when you're pulling it and the, just the aspect of pulling your coffee uh, from a, a kegerator like this uh, adds an interesting factor for your event, let's say. Um, but typically when you do nitro cold brew, and this is at least mainly my opinion, you'll go to a coffee shop and the nitro will look like this. Doesn't really have any kind of head on it. It needs to look like this. It needs to have a head on it. And when it's poured, it should be primarily amber. And you should see a nice cascading effect, uh, which is where that... Uh, you know, the mixing is kind of going in uh, and it creates kind of an amber hue to the drink. And you should be seeing that and it should slowly go up to just become a head here. And typically I say anywhere from a half an inch to a quarter of an inch or something of head is pretty good. But I believe it or not, have been to some places that say they have nitro. Um, I'm not going to mention names, uh, but they are a popular coffee shop across the, the country. And uh, I've tried their cold brew and not all of the locations have it looking like this. So keep that in mind. The nitro cold brew should be something similar to this. Uh, 
And if you're interested in cold brew, I would definitely say places to get it is definitely go to your local grocery store. Uh, they have cold brew there. Uh, Nitro is getting fun because now a lot of companies are, uh, especially even Cuvée Coffee is one of them, but uh, in some town. But now they're starting to introduce Nitro cold brew into a can format. And now even brewing companies are introducing coffee into their brewing process and creating uh, nitro cold brew beers and things like that, I guess, if you'd call it that. Um, so it's all a lot of fun. It's something that's kind of the newest trend in coffee right now. So I highly recommend you go out and try it at the very least. Like I said, nitro cold brew isn't for everybody. Uh, but I think if you really love coffee and uh, you love to try different things with coffee, then you're gonna love this. Um, and there's even a few companies out there that now have started adding flavors. So if you don't absolutely love coffee uh, and you wanna try it or you don't really like cold coffee, I know people that are like that, then nitro cold brew might be the way to go. So definitely go out there and don't be scared to go out and try something new with the cold brew coffee or nitro coffee if you have it in cold brew definitely try that first um, and try something different today that's going to be it for this episode if you guys have any questions about nitro or the cold brew coffee leave it in the comments below you know us this is hotshotscatering.com go out to the website and check out our offerings of nitro cold brew we normally do it in uh, we can do it in this size, but normally we do it in five ounce shot glasses, which is great if you have conventions, if you have a wedding, or you have a young group of millennials or anyone that just is into something unique and fun. Uh, the Nitro Cold Brew should definitely be on your list. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video today. And if you wanna see more great content, click here. Have you subscribed yet? Click here. Do you want to find out more about Hot Shots? Go to hotshotscatering.com and find out why we are the premier gourmet coffee caterer in the DFW Metroplex. Thank you guys and we'll see you next time.